Breaking news, oh, my lovely, wonderful people. Not be smart in the happen. So, if NLC come out heh, on the street for any protest, they will definitely meet me and my guys there. We will chase them off the streets. Nobody can walk against Tinubu. The fuel subsidy is for the good of Nigerians. We will not allow this to happen. No, never again. You can't come out and begin to work against the government. So my lovely, wonderful people, it is important that we understand this and we begin to work to ensure that, you know, we know the threat that Aseri Dekubo is issuing out there to all Nigerians. If you know our brother very well, Aseri Dekubo is saying that NLC cannot date, that they should come out and fight Tinubu, they should try it. He will show to them exactly you know what the meaning of what he's saying means that him and his guys will be out there to ensure that they do not allow the same thing over and over again please don't forget to give us a thumbs up like us share subscribe let's get all the details if nlc come out on the street for any protest they will definitely meet us there as a reader kubo threatens as Nigerians continue to battle with the increase in fuel price and scarcity, Halaji Asirida Kubo, a major political figure of the Jo ethnic group in the Niger Delta region, has spoken out. A former president of the Jo Youth Council and a well-known traditional title holder in River State has spoken while speaking in a live stream session held in his political in his in his official facebook page a few hours ago has threatened you know with nigerians and has reacted to the nigerian labor nigerian labor congress nlc noted that they will commence a nationwide strike on the issue of the fuel subsidy remover Why addressing this issue asari dekubo made it known that if the nlc should come out in the streets for any protest they would definitely meet him and his people there adding that their NLC leadership is has been has been compromised. They are partisans and they want to ensure that they destroy Tinubu's opportunity. He has only just started. All we can do is support. According to his words, as I read Okubo said, I want to make it clear that if the NLC comes out on the street for any protest, they will definitely meet us there. The current leadership of the NLC, its partisans, they have been compromised. The Peter Obi has joined in this matter. They are support. They are Peter Obi that they are supporting even made it clear that he will remove fuel subsidy. So what is their problem? Peter Obi said it. I will show them the video if they want that he will remove the same fuel subsidy if he has won the election as the president. Speaking further, Sarita Kubo said that those who voted for the former governor of Lagos State and the current president of the Federal Republic. Republic of Nigeria, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, will also be on the streets if the NLC should go on with this protest, adding that he will not allow NSC bring want to bring bring us back to a backyard revolution through on through unsubscribe through unsubscribe saying they want to carry out a protest. It will never happen. According to his word, Seri Dakubo said i sense that the nlc wants to bring a uh, backyard revolution and we will not allow this to happen when labor party saw us in abuja they could no longer step out like they did when they distribute when they distribute when they distribute they stopped us in the court the current leadership of the labor nigerian labor congress supported peter Obi, and now they want to use the platform of their people to fight the personal their own personal interests they should understand that peter obi did not win it's a hard pill to swallow but they should understand it and move on so my lovely people you know this is what is happening now and uh, we all just need to begin to understand that nigerians we are here for you know to make this country a better place and we cannot continue with the same thing over and over again and expect a different result if nigeria is to change if we're going to get you know a, a government a, a place that you know will be good for all every single person will have to act accordingly and make this nation a better place 
the issue right now and all that is happening is showing to us that Nigerians cannot continue, you know, in this same vein. We need this country to become better. We need this country to become a better place for every single person. Nigerians, the days upon us is that, you know, uh, Peter will be, you know, was supported. is a Labour Party. The party is Labour Party. Yes, the party is Labour Party. And so what we are saying right now is, Asari Dakubo is rather saying that, you know, Labour Party yeah, or Labour Congress are trying to, you, you know, use this reason to sabotage things. Okay, so they are trying to, you know, use this to sabotage things, that there is nothing, you know, there's no such thing and that they are just working in their own ground. They are trying to, you know, with, to sabotage things and to put, you know, issues on ground, you know, and make this country ungovernable for Bola Ahmed Tinubu. He said, but they have failed, you know, it's, it's you know, it's, it's failure on arrival, you know, that it cannot happen. Well, my people, you can see for a fact and you can see for yourself that, you know, those things that we have allowed for far too long, you know, have actually, you know, uh, brought us to where we are at the moment. And every single person needs to understand that this nation, you know, belongs to us. And, uh, you know, we, we just have to ensure that we do what is right, what is needed. Okay. And uh, Nigerians, it is important that nobody, you know, nobody sits back there. And allow the same thing over and over again. This country needs a change. Okay. This country needs to change. And we all need to make sure that we work at it. Okay. We join in this change whole regime. And make Nigeria a better place. You know. Nigeria belongs to us. And every time we leave things to chance. Every time we pretend that we are not aware of what is going on. You'll be shocked. You know. At how things have been. So there is urgent need for every single person to understand the threats that is out there so you're not uh, you are not uh, you know uh, one of casualty you must ensure that you you position yourself correctly and right so that you don't become you know uh, because these people by the time they see the first sort of people out there they might want to cause trouble and you know they can do anything weapons and all that and we don't want you to be caught in crossfire remember that we are all in this to make this country better we all have a voice and we cannot afford to allow the same thing over and over again. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe, click on the notification button so you can have all our latest news. God bless. Have a fantastic and a lovely day from us. It's bye for now. Bye-bye.